Hello, my name is Damien Oranji and I'm a Senior Principal Engineering Technologist with Dell Technologies. In this video, we'll emphasize the unique value proposition of Dell XC Plus, a solution that's been co-engineered by Dell Technologies and Nutanix spanning back as far as 2012. This long-standing collaboration has led to a product that's unmatched in the industry, combining the strengths of both companies to deliver a solution that meets and exceeds customer needs. So with that, let's get started. The deep integration between Nutanix software and Dell Technologies hardware certainly delivers a seamless experience from initial deployment through ongoing maintenance and upgrades. LTM streamlines complex upgrade workflows, allowing you to initiate and complete upgrades with a single click and LCM intelligently migrates virtual machines between nodes during upgrades, ensuring uninterrupted operations for your applications. In the event of any issues, LCM will provide a simple rollback mechanism to revert the previous software or firmware versions. This deep integration between Nutanix and Dell Technologies simplifies every stage of the operational lifecycle, from automated discovery and guided deployment to proactive monitoring and non-disruptive upgrades. At Dell, it's not just one team managing updates. The PowerEdge engineering team, which is responsible for the parent platform, is rigorously testing and validating these updates in conjunction with Nutanix. XC engineering team then step in to retest and revalidate all the updates specifically for the XC platform. And this layered approach ensures that every update is rock solid before it even reaches your infrastructure. One of the key innovations here is the use of iDRAC. And unlike traditional methods, iDRAC connects directly to system components for inbound updates via the Redfish APIs. These APIs are faster and more secure, providing a more streamlined and reliable update process. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means that in many cases, updates can be completed with a maximum of just one reboot. The iDRAC system handles LCM firmware updates directly, supports driver updates, and can deliver many updates without requiring any reboots at all. This reduction in reboots not only minimizes downtime, but also reduces the operational complexity and risk associated with updates. So what are the key benefits of Dell's approach? Well, first and foremost, it's the efficiency. By integrating iDRAC via Redfish, Dell has optimized the update process even further, reducing the time and effort required to keep your system up to date. And secondly, there is that increased security and reliability thanks to the inbound updates delivered via Redfish APIs. And finally, the overall reduction in reboots, of course, leads to less downtime, ensuring that your operations continue with minimal interruptions. This comprehensive integration certainly positions Dell XC Appliance as an optimal choice for enterprises looking to streamline their update process while maintaining the highest levels of performance and reliability. At Dell Technologies, our goal is to make implementation of your IT infrastructure as seamless and worry-free as possible, whether that's the installation, configuration, or ongoing deployment and support of your XC appliances. Dell has you covered with end-to-end -end solutions designed to minimize complexity, reduce risk, and ensure successful deployment. So welcome to this demonstration of the Nutanix Lifecycle Manager. Uh, so in this video, we're going to walk through the process of using LCM to update the firmware on the Dell XC Plus nodes in our Nutanix environment. So the first thing we're going to do is actually log into Prism Central. And here you can see we've actually got a four node uh, cluster. So four XC6520s. So what we're going to do firstly is we're going to click on settings and we are going to go down to the LCM option. So firstly, we're going to have to perform an inventory. So the inventory stage, this is a critical part of the LCM process. Um, and here's what's actually going to happen during this stage. So in the LCM interface, we're going to click on the inventory button to initiate the process. 
So LTM begins essentially what is a comprehensive scan of your environment. It's going to identify all hardware components in your Nutanix cluster, including the nodes. So in this case, it's the Dell XC Plus nodes, uh, CPU, memory modules, storage devices, network interfaces, HBAs, BIOS, um, and all other components as well. So for each identified component, LTM is going to collect detailed information as I said, current firmware versions and software versions, model numbers, serial numbers, manufacturer information. LTM is going to communicate with the Nutanix support portal to, comp uh, to compare the collected information against the latest versions um, and compatibility matrix. So the inventory process also checks for any dependencies between different firmware versions to uh, ensure update compatibility. As the inventory progresses, you'll see real-time status update in the LCM interface. So showing the number of components scanned, any issues or warnings detected, and the estimated time to completion as well. So once complete, LCM generates a comprehensive inventory report, which includes a summary of all identified components, current firmware versions, uh, available updates, um, and the recommended update paths as well. So this inventory report serves as the foundation for planning your update strategy. Uh, the inventory process typically takes between 15, 15, 20 minutes or so, uh, depending on the size of, um, of the actual environment, because it has to scan each node uh, as it goes through. Now that the inventory process is complete, LCM presents a comprehensive overview of your current firmware versions and available updates. This step is critical for understanding your environment's current state and planning your upgrade or your update strategy. So we've got a few things listed here. We've got our current firmware status. So LCM will display a detailed summary of all components in your environment. So for each component, your BIOS, your NICs, your storage controllers, etc., you'll see current firmware versions, release dates uh, of the versions and criticality level. Uh, you'll also have a link to release notes as well, which is uh, very useful. Uh, LCM will then present a list of available firmware versions for each component. Uh, again, version numbers, release dates and criticality levels. So LCM will use Nutanix compatibility matrix to recommend specific update paths. Um, and they're typically highlighted or tagged for easy identification. Um, it will automatically check for dependencies between different firmware components. And if updating one component requires updating another first, LCM is actually going to orchestrate this for you. The system's going to verify that all um, proposed updates are compatible with your current hardware and software configurations. So any potential compatibility issues are going to be flagged. For each available update, LCM is going to provide information on the potential impact of the update. So this may include uh, your downtime, uh, whether a reboot will be required, uh, any potential risks um, or considerations. So let's go ahead and apply the updates. I'm just going to talk briefly about NCC, uh, which is the Nutanix cluster check tool. So NCC is a comprehensive diagnostic tool for uh, reporting uh, within Nutanix clusters. So LCM now supports schedule and automatic updates for the NCC module. So when you're actually running your inventory operation and performing the LCM updates, uh, the NCC tool is actually going to automatically run for you as well. So it performs hundreds of checks in your environment uh, for hardware compatibility, software version compatibility, network configuration, storage performance and health, etc, etc. So running NCC automatically will help identify and resolve potential issues before starting the LCM process. Okay, so as I've been talking, we can see that the LCM process has actually started. So we have a bunch of tasks and subtasks. We can drill down and take a look at these and view the uh, status of these jobs. I'm going to jump over to the iDRAC as well on this node. And we can see that one firmware update is in process here. It's through iDRAC as well if we wish to. So through the magic of editing, we're going to uh, fast forward this bit for obvious reasons as it takes a little bit of time. 
um, but I'll just jump over and back. As we can see, the rest of the updates have now been scheduled and staged. Uh, so we've got our SAS, our SATA drives, iDRAC controller, etc. So wait some time and that's obviously going to complete and go to 100% and there will be a reboot initiated. So we'll log back into PRISM now and uh, we can actually check the status of the jobs and we should see a successful completion of the LCM update tasks. So as you can see, it's a very straightforward process. You can monitor this um, through the LCM interface, through the tasks interface on PRISM and you can also check the status of the uh, firmware update jobs through the lifecycle controller, through iDRAC as well. So thank you for your time. My name is Damien Orangi and we'll see you in the next video.